here. What are we looking at here? Okay, so this is our open compute server that we use at Facebook today. We originally wanted OCP to be a community of people who had common interest in making efficient infrastructure. We realized it was a large problem. Just one company solving that problem wasn't enough, and we needed to bring and build a community that could help us solve that problem together. As a hardware engineer, I was like, oh, this is going to be great. Um, this is exactly what I needed. I needed a hardware platform where I could collaborate with other people and we could, we could get kind of that same network effect of coordinating so that it wasn't just me trying to convince a supplier to do something open or having to, you know, foot that whole bill myself. By collaborating with other hardware engineers, we could design hardware, we could design standards that would move the ball forward. It was so obvious coming from 30 years of engineering that this was going to be a big thing and you know I wanted to be a part of that and as people joined you know, they wanted to be a part of that working with these other engineers working with their peers at companies that would otherwise be competitors to them it's a great forum to connect with colleagues who all have the same goal we're all trying to bring openness we're all trying to tackle problems of scale, sustainability, and how do we do this together with, with others. When the project started, you know, uh, this was 10 years ago, I actually was wondering how many people would show up. Well, I mean, the question was would other large cloud people get involved, right? And, and they did. That's really, I think, far exceeded anybody's expectation of how much interest there is in an industry spanning wide effort to accelerate hardware innovation. By leveraging the power of community, to look at problems from many different perspectives. And that adds the richness of solution set which the community brings back into this uh, space. OCP fundamentally has done an incredible job at identifying domain spaces where the community needs to come together. I really believe Vanity Free Hardware was that original vision and that is what the ecosystem has absolutely been able to do. Facebook has been so positively impacted by OCP that we actually right, invest in other areas of OCP that we see no direct benefit from. Because the power of the community, the momentum of the community, and the innovation that the community is driving is, is, is important for the entire industry. So as a result of bringing people into the community, uh, we have contributed so many different designs into the open compute and also led creation of so many new projects. Look at 10 years later, right? We are 5,000 engineers, we are 50 projects, 75 plus volunteers, 250 companies worldwide. I just have tremendous amount of pride and passion for the community and appreciation, quite frankly. Um, the work that, that, that this community has done is, I think, second to none. It inspires me in a big way. The biggest thing that OCP got and nailed correctly was being able to take something that was commonly kept a secret and proprietary to particular companies and allowed that to become not something that, that was thought to be a competitive advantage. It opened it up to everyone. Companies quickly realized that it really wasn't a competitive advantage and that it was something that was worth collaborating on and, and doing together. Welcome to the 2021 OCP Global Summit. From Open Compute Project Foundation, please welcome Bill Carter. Oh, isn't it great to be here in person again after uh, eight? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's been a you know 18 month uh, hiatus for all of us, and no workshops and everything. It's been wonderful the last uh, 24 hours. We got things going. Thank you for being here. Um, this is also a virtual event, so uh, we're actually expecting about 2,500 people to be at the show uh, today. Uh, we had a symposium yesterday. I'll talk about that in a minute. We had over 5,000 unique people that tuned in virtually to that, and and. Uh, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, we had over 1,000 people already logged in um, to this session this morning that will get to watch the keynotes virtually. So again, um, thanks for being here. Very special thanks to, um, to all of our sponsors as well. Uh, we have a great expo hall. We're trying to make this as safe as possible for, for all of us. You'll see we got more uh, uh, 
uh, more spacing in the chairs today. The expo hall is twice as large this year, and so you're gonna, when you're gonna see it, it's gonna be very enjoyable to be able to walk through and not feel like we're, we're crowded. Um, this is our 10th anniversary, and uh, every year we have a, uh, a, by the way, I'm gonna back up for a minute. How many people were at some of those really early events that we saw in the video? I think there was an event at, at Facebook uh, there was another event at Rackspace. Uh, I think that must have been about seven or eight years ago. How many people were at some of those events? Raise your hand. OK, great. Um, anyway, every year we have uh, Omdia, a market research company, uh, come up and, and do a, a, a survey and, and study and understand the influence that you all are having on the, the marketplace and on the community uh, with the products. And so we, we released the findings. That, those findings are coming out today. I had a chance to take a look at some of that, the findings yesterday, and I uh, just want to um, share a, a couple of the, the learnings. One of the things they said is that 90% of field trials with um, OCP-recognized uh, equipment continued on to production. I think that's a, a real achievement that, you know, it's, it's easy to use and, and, uh, and beneficial. Um, another uh, uh, a key finding is that, and we've advertised this, we've said we, we're, we're continually growing year over year. In 2020, we actually grew, when I say we, it's, it's all of you. The community grew at a 37% a growth year over year. And the revenues produced from OCP recognized equipment topped 16 billion in uh, 2020. Um, and the really exciting news is that looking forward, it could continue to grow, expecting to top 46 billion in revenue from uh, OCP recognized equipment by 2025. Uh, one other data point, and, and uh, talking about 2025, uh, there's a lot of work that we have to do, and there's a lot of headwinds uh, that, that we'll face in the next five years. But I thought this was a, a key data point that came out of that survey, and that was that uh, in 2025, they're actually expecting that the uh, OCP-recognized hardware will be consumed by non-hyperscale operators. And if you recall years ago, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, belief that this was a hyperscale driven organization. And that, that's, it's, you know, it's changing, and, uh, and we think that in 2025, that's a tipping point. Now, keep in mind, there's a lot of handwind, a lot of work we have to do, but I think that's really, really good news. Um, I mentioned the Future Technology Symposium yesterday. Great event, great turnout. Uh, I just want to recognize some of the people that work throughout the year to make the symposium possible. We have uh, a, a chair and an event chair, Alan Smith and Leslie uh, Damon. Thank you very much. If you see these folks as you go throughout the day, please say thank you to them. We also have a, a, a program committee that really uh, takes all these papers and, and makes a, a selection. Uh, and those papers then are presented in person. That happened yesterday. Some of those papers are, are being presented on poster board. Uh, out in the concourse level, you have a chance to look at those. So Nicole, Minji, uh, Cliff, and Michael represent that, that program committee. And, and again, you know, work throughout the year in, in support of that. Yesterday, we, we down-selected about uh, 25 different presentations. Here's some of the companies that participated uh, in these, these research papers and, and presented those. Um, and, and actually, what we do as a committee is we select the best paper that was presented, and we present them with an award. That's going to happen at noon today. They're actually doing the final judging on that right now. That reward, uh, award will be uh, given out at, um, on the concourse level over by the posters. If you haven't uh, taken a look at those, make, you know, spend some time. It's really, really interesting stuff that's going on. By the way, the top paper will receive a $10,000 award for that. Um, at this point in time, I'd like to invite Archna Haylock uh, to the stage with me. So you just heard from Bill about the scale and the growth and the impact of OCP, and I just wanted to take a moment and recognize those that made this happen. This was a group effort, this was a team effort, this was a community effort. And so what I wanted to do is ask all of our volunteers, past, present, IC members, um, project leads, I want them to stand. Can you stand? Please stand up. 
Project leads, regional project leads, sub-project leads, work stream leads. Please stand. There's a lot more virtually, too, because there were friends that could not travel to make this happen. So this is what makes OCP tick. So as you go through the next two days and you see the keynote, uh, hear the keynote speakers, you go to the exhibit halls, you go to the workshops, I want you to take a mantra with you. So I want you to repeat after me. I am OCP. You are OCP. We are OCP. That wasn't loud enough. One more time. I am OCP. Better. You are OCP. We are OCP. We are OCP. Um, with that, uh, last year we gave out volunteer awards for all of those really, really key people that made an impact uh, with their innovation, with their time, with their expertise, and this year we'd like to do the same. The five individuals that you see on the screen behind you have made an impact in the field of modular data center and data center facilities, immersion technology, server technology and modular hardware, hardware management, and the strategic uh, initiatives leadership within our IC, our incubation committee. So if you see them in the hall, please shake their hand, congratulate them. They've dedicated a lot of time and energy to OCP, and you're going to see the fruits of that effort in the engineering workshop. Thank you. Have a great summit. Thank you, Archnev. Yeah, and thank you to everybody who, who helps out. Uh, just want to recognize a few other people that, are, that make this event happen, uh, and some new staff changes. Um, so we have two people that were able to add to the, to the foundation team. Uh, first person is, is Cliff Grossner. He's going to head up our, our market intelligence function. And then we were also able to add um, Kate Hendel full time to handle the events. Um, so that's exciting to, to be able to grow with the community. Uh, and with that growth, we also expect to provide additional um, support, additional capabilities and opportunities. And so um, uh, uh, we have a couple of things that we're doing. I mentioned the Future Technology Symposium. We actually have turned that into a year-long event and think of it as, a, as, a, as a, its own separate work stream focusing on um, challenges and opportunities that are, let's say, three to five to seven years out. Um, and they're working on three different work streams right now. One is defining a new cloud service model. The other is putting together a, uh, and looking at software-defined memory and what we can do there. And the third is looking at uh, the ability to address AI workloads, workloads through hardware and software um, uh, co-design. We also expect to, um, to introduce some new educational webinars and, and work with the analysts more closely this next year. And uh, we expect that uh, we'll also uh, launch an Intel University, again, to help with training and, and uh, support. So again, new, new things that are coming in on the horizon. Also want to, um, again, recognize our board members uh, Partha joined the board uh, uh, in early 2020. Um, Andy has been with us uh, since, we, since we launched the foundation 10 years ago. Uh, Mark has served as the um, chairperson uh, for the last several years, and uh, we thank Mark for his efforts. Zaid joined this year uh, as another board member, and, uh, and then Rebecca has taken over as our new chairperson. So, uh, with that said, we have a great lineup uh, uh, for you in the keynotes, and the most important thing is for me to get off this stage. And so with that, I'm going to go ahead and introduce Rebecca Weekly.